Hi folks, I'm Miss Erin from C.C. Meller Memorial Library here for today's middle grade moment where we're going to be talking about three books that are great for readers ages nine and up. And this week, I thought we could talk all about scary books. You ready to get started? All right, so all three of these books are available for checkout on Hoopla with your library card, if you'd like. We also have them at C.C. Meller Memorial Library and at other libraries around Allegheny County. So take a look and see if it's at the library closest to you. The first book that I wanna tell you about today, I'm gonna to start with the least scary and work my way up to the one that scared me the most. But the thing about scary books is that what's scary about them may change depending on who you are. So what you find really scary might not be what I find really scary. So your mileage may vary is what I'm trying to say. The first book that I wanna tell you about, I thought was more suspenseful than scary. It definitely kept me reading. It definitely gave me lots of twists and turns and things that I didn't expect, but it wasn't going to keep me up at night scary. This book is called The Strangers, and it's the first book in the Greystone Secrets series by Margaret Peterson Haddix. And it's the story of three siblings. Their names are Chess, Emma, and Finn. And they live with their mom. And one day they come home from school and they see three kids on the news who've been kidnapped. And the three kids have the same names as Chess, Emma, and Finn. They also have the same birthdays as Chess, Emma, and Finn. And their mom looks a lot like these kids' mom. So things are getting a little suspicious right from the start. And then their mom has to disappear really suddenly on a work trip and leaves them with a neighbor or friend. And Chess, Emma, and Finn are trying to figure out what's going on. Why, why do this ki these kids on the news really look like them? Why did their mom disappear so quickly? There's a lot of plot twists in this, a lot of things that come unexpectedly, so I don't want to give too much away, but I am going to tell you that this book has suspense. It has mysterious secret passageways. It has family secrets. It has elements of science fiction and alternate universes and figuring out who you are and a shady agency of the government. So there's lots and lots going on in this story of these three siblings. And we have this as a book at the library. You can also check it out as an audiobook through Hoopla. So this again is called The Strangers and it's the first book in the Greystone Secrets series. The next book that I wanna tell you about is a little bit scarier. It is called The Jumbies and it's by Tracy Baptiste. And Jumbies are evil spirits or maybe not evil, but not nice spirits that come from Caribbean folklore. And so Tracy Baptiste um, took stories from her childhood and turned them into this, this novel. And it's the story of Corinne Lamere, and she lives with her dad on the edge of the woods. And one day, some kids steal her necklace, the one thing she has left from her mom as a prank, and tie it to an animal and that animal goes running into the woods and everyone on their island is really scared of the woods but Corrine look goes chasing after this animal to get her necklace back and she sees some eyes in the woods and the next day a mysterious woman shows up at their market and starts talking to the local witch and everyone in town is talking about her and Corrine's a little bit worried, but not too worried. But then this mysterious woman shows up at their house talking to her dad. So this is the story of the, um, of the Jumbies, of lots of different kinds of spirits that live on their island. Um, and it's the story of Corrine figuring out how she can coexist with them or whether she needs to defeat them or what exactly she can do to best protect her family and her island and protect her heritage 
and the things that she finds out about herself along the way. So this one, for me, this one starts out really scary, chasing an animal through the woods and seeing eyes and lots of stuff that you're not sure exactly what's going on, but it turns into more of an adventure story, a battle against good and evil story. So it's definitely worth checking out. It's called The Jumbies, and this one is available as an ebook. All right, the third book that I want to tell you about, I checked out as an ebook, so I'm going to show it to you on the iPad. It's called Skeleton Man by Joseph Bruchak, and it's the story of Molly. And Molly starts out her book talking about a story that she learned from her dad. And now her dad is a Native American. He grew up on the Mo as as a member of the Mohawk Nation at Akwesasne. And um, he tells her the story of Skeleton Man, who is so hungry that he ends up eating all of the flesh off his own body. And then he ends up eating all of his relatives, all except a niece who manages to out, outsmart him, outwit him. And so Molly has always just thought of the story as, oh, you know, this is a scary story that my dad would tell me to kind of keep me up at night and thrill me and make me excited to hear about the stories that he has from growing up. But then one day Molly's parents go out to dinner and they never come back. And so in the process, because she's a kid, she has to figure out where she's going to live, who she's going to live with. And a man comes to claim her and he claims that he's her uncle. But Molly's never met him before. And when he moves, he makes the same clicking noise as the skeleton man in the story. And he's really skinny and really old. And the more she thinks about it, the more he reminds her of skeleton man. And so this book is, was, at least to me, it's really scary. It's very short. It goes very quickly, but ooh, this one, this one kept me up at night. It's only about 110 pages. Um, and again, it's called Skeleton Man by Joseph Bruchak. So those are the three stories that I wanted to tell you about today. I didn't want to tell you too many details because the best thing about a scary story is figuring out what happens and being surprised by the surprises. But before we go, I want to give you another activity that you can do about scary stories. This one came from Scholastic and it is is um, a document with instructions on how to tell your own scary story. So I'm gonna give you a link to the document, but the thing that you will need at home is one die. Did you know that die is the form when you only have one dice? So you just need one, it needs to have six sides, and you will roll it to tell your scary story. So you'll, you will roll and the first roll will tell you what the weather is outside. So if we roll this dice, this die, and it gives us a five, we'll know, ooh, it's really windy outside. And then you can roll again for the scary element or who the villain of the story is and you can write your own story or tell your own story to your friends or family. This activity came from Halloween so some of it has a little more to do with the fall but you can adapt it however you want. You can make your, your scary story about the 4th of July if you would rather. So those are the three books that I wanted to tell you about today. All three of them are available for checkout on Hoopla or through the Allegheny County Library System. I will see you back here next week for another middle grade moment. Until then, have a wonderful week.